Following breaking news today out of Jefferson Parish, Kenner police currently looking into a bomb threat at Kenner Discovery. That's where we find WDSU News reporter Courtney Williams. Courtney, this is at least the fourth bomb threat in less than a month. That's right, Salam. I'm here outside Kenner Discovery where not too long ago the school received its fourth bomb threat just this school year. And I want you all to go ahead and take a look as there is a lot of activity. As you can see, both the fire department and police department is here doing a thorough sweep of the entire school. Now the entire school has been swept of all students and students were moved across the street to the Kenner City Park and that is where parents are being asked to go to pick up their students. Now they do have to come down Loyola Drive as Vintage Drive is currently closed. Now as I previously mentioned, this is the fourth bomb threat that was made. The first bomb threat was made on November 3rd and the second bomb threat was threat was made on November 8th, which was election day. The school was closed to students, but was used as a polling station and the polling station had to be closed and moved to an alternate location. And then the third bomb threat occurred on November 3rd. Now, Kenner Police Department arrested two 13 year olds on November 23rd in connection to the first three separate bomb threats toward Kenner Discovery School. Kenner police were able to determine that the three bomb threats were coordinated by the same two individuals who were both juveniles that resided in separate states. Now, as I mentioned before, Kenner police is urging everyone to stay away from the area as there is a lot of traffic and they're asking parents to pick up students through Loyola Drive and not come down Vintage Drive for now. If you have any information, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 504-822-1111 and we'll have all updates on this story both online and on air. But for now, we're Reporting in Kenner, Courtney Williams, WDSU News. All right, Courtney, thank you.